Hi and welcome to this On Shape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the final challenge in this series and we're going to look at how to create a rib in a design like this in the top left hand corner. So we're going to look at can we control the depth of a rib especially if there isn't a surface or solid body okay, to control that against. So what we've got along the bottom here is a number of different tabs. This tab that's active gives us a quick overview of the different challenges in this series and this tab here gives us some extra links to resources and tutorials. We've also got a file here which we're going to use to create this tutorial and we've also got a master copy of the final outcome which we can use as reference. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is look at how we can control the depth of a rib especially if we are sort of creating this feature and we've got no surface okay or body okay to go up against so you can see here what we've got is this sort of grid pattern and for those people that are quite good at CAD you would know that you could recreate this say using a rectangle you could draw a rectangle in that inner surface and you could then extrude it and you could also use the pattern tool to pattern that horizontally but also vertically to achieve the same result. But I'm interested in is what are the limitations with the rib feature. So if we go to the tutorial tab here, what we've got is this sort of cylinder with this face removed. And here you can see a sketch that's active called the rib sketch. And it's got a number of lines which we can use to create that grid, okay, that pattern for the rib. We've also got here hidden away is a tool. So a tool here is okay, a, an extruded rectangle which covers okay, the front of that. And that's going to become helpful or useful later. So say we wanted to create a rib here. And you click on rib. And as you see in some of the other previous videos, depending on where you start your sketch, okay, the rib will start from that sketch. There isn't any options in here to create an offset or to control that depth. Okay, It will basically go up to the next surface or body. So if we click on the rib sketch, so that's the sketch profiles, and we click this part here, what you would happen is you see there's a bit of an issue. So if we click on normal to sketch plane, okay, that creates basically like, like an extrusion of those shapes. And even if we go extend, you can see it's going a bit crazy. Okay, it's coming way off the page there. So this is clearly not working, all right, and not achieving what we want to achieve. If there was, um, if this had no hole in it and we created say a sketch halfway and did this okay those would go up to the bottom of that but because there's no bottom it can't see it and we don't have any control of here of depth so i can't put in i want that to go say three millimeters for example so what we need to do okay is use a tool so i've created okay a simple sketch here like that which is in line with that surface so this surface here and then i've extruded it to create this tool so this is a separate part it is not okay uh, part of this main body which is in purple it is completely separate and i could turn them off and i can work on them individually so what we're going to do now is go to rib again i'm going to go sketch profile so we're going to select that sketch and parts, this time we're going to click okay, on both of them. Rather than par uh, parallel, we're going to choose normal. And then what you'll see is it's working from the sketch of that surface just there. And it's going up to the tool now. It's going up to that body. And that's fine. And then we're creating this design. And if I click on extend, okay, you will see okay, what it's going to do. Because I've clicked extend and it's got merge, that's merging this entire part into one. And I could click the tick and I could also split this 
okay, to create that. The other way of doing it, actually, we'll show you, I'll show you that way first. So if I click on a tick, it's created that, but that is now one solid. So I want to remove or split this. So if I go to split, which is here, parts to split, okay, that's the part, entities, okay, that face. And what I could do is go keep tools, and what that's done now, okay, is removed that or split that, and we've now got that grid, or that design on there. So that is one way, okay, you could do it. And then you could, uh, you know, come into there, and if you wanted to create a little offset, is you could, if I show you, if I got sketch, okay, on this surface here, click N for normalize, just gonna turn my origin on. And I'm going to create a sketch like so. And then I can go extrude, and I can go remove, and I'll set a distance to say two millimeters. And make sure that goes in the right direction there we go and if i update that you can see i've created like a little offset or step so you could achieve it that way by just splitting it so that's one way of doing it the other way of doing it if i um just delete these okay turn that on delete the rib and then we got go back to this one here as you can see there that's a better angle so again, what we could do is go to rib, uh, sketch profile, so sketch profile created. The part again is both parts. Okay. I'm going to go normal two. This time we're not going to merge. So they are all separate bodies here. And we are going to go extend. So that extends up to, okay, that inner, okay, surface there. And I'm going to click the tick. So what we've got now is effectively we've got loads of different parts. So we can hide that one there, okay? And we could hide the tool, and we've got this now, but they're all separate. So what I'm gonna do now is merge everything together. So I'm gonna actually turn that one back on. I'm gonna come up here to do this option here, union. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that one there first, go down to the bottom and hold shift. Okay, and then I'm also going to select that one as well. And it's created a union, so it's merged all those parts into one. And I can go into here and give that, okay, the color that I had originally. And you can see we've created the same thing. We've got that tool remaining, and we've got that same design. So that's another way of doing it, okay? And then, then again, if I wanted to Okay, create sort of a bit of an offset. I could go on there. Okay, I'm just gonna draw a circle on it and snap it to one of those vertices or vertex. I'm gonna go to extrude. And I'm gonna go remove. Okay, set the hour to correct way. And I'm gonna take off two millimeters again to create that sort of step down. And again, you've got that little, okay, indentation there. So if I just go that backwards and forwards, Okay, I've removed that and stepped it down. So there are two ways there to show you how you can, okay, control the depth. So you can use basically a separate part as a tool for that um, rib feature to go up against. And then again, you can split it. All right, or you could create a separate part and then, okay, merge all those together, okay, using uh, this option here. So there's two ways to do that. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.